Hi everyone, I'm Herrick Kimball. Welcome to another episode of This Agrarian Life. And today I'd like to talk about chimneys for wood stoves, and in particular, my own chimney. This chimney here was on the outside of my house. You've seen the 360 degree view just now of my addition, which finally has the roof on. I'm very uh, glad of that, feeling good about that. And this chimney used to be on the outside of my house and it was it, w it had one of these things a bracket and a clean out here and it ran up the side of my house and through the overhang on the eave on the gable get my nomenclature right here and it has been that way for well over 30 years this pipe, this chimney system, is, was made by Hart & Cooley. The company's still in business, and it's a six inch inside diameter, eight inch outside diameter, stainless steel, in and out, and it's insulated, I believe with mineral wool, and it is like the best chimney you could possibly get for your wood stove. I think that's widespread knowledge now but just in case it isn't, I'm letting you know that. And when I was 20, 21 years old, I started my first business as a chimney sweep. I cleaned chimneys, I had a big four door car, I put a ladder rack on the top, and I had the back seat full, the front seat full, the trunk full, I had uh, August West chimney cleaning equipment, and I did that for several years. I learned a lot, it was a great experience, met a lot of good people. And that was my first business. And what I learned, one of the things I learned, is that masonry chimneys with the tile liner, which were common at that time and had been for many years, are terrible for wood stoves because the creosote condenses out. They're cold and the creosote condenses out. And when I cleaned these stainless steel, insulated stainless steel chimneys, these are not triple wall, these are insulated stainless steel chimneys. When I cleaned them, they came, they cleaned, they cleaned out beautifully. And so when it came time for me to build my own house, even though this was an expensive chimney at the time and still is, I, that's what I used. And it's, this chimney is still perfectly good. We still have the wood soap on the other side of the wall, still wanna use it. But the problem is that I don't want the bracket here in the house. This would actually be in what will be the bathroom don't want that here because when you, I have poles and I have a brush and I would run them up from the bottom. Uh, that's the way I did it for years here. And the creosote will come out the bottom. I don't want that in my house. Obviously that's not a good system. So I need to move the pipe from this T uh, bracket on the outside of the house inside and have it directly over the wood stove and they make a special bracket for through the ceiling to hold the length of pipe and to be safe and this particular product this Hart and Cooley uh, chimney they changed their design this has a, a band that slides down and locks the sections together they've changed that so that they have a twist system so the piece that I need to go in my ceiling is no longer made. And that created a bit of a problem, but I went online and I found the part I needed. Ceiling support, brand new in the box vintage. This thing's at least 20 years old. It wasn't on eBay either. It was at a, uh, I can't remember the name of the company, but I, I started with eBay. With instructions right there. It cost me a total of $45, shipping included, and that's it. And this, this collar goes on the bottom of the pipe. It centers it on this. I have to frame an opening in the ceiling and uh, nail this in, and then you stack your pipe up. Now, my wife is not very happy about this, and I'm actually not either. 
because now instead of having a pipe on the outside of the house, it's going to be in the house. It's, and, and above the uh, wood stove is no problem, but it's the room above the wood stove, which is a bedroom. And it, now we're going to have this pipe going up through the room. And, uh, but I told my wife, look, it's not going to be a bed. We're going to get a new bedroom down here. It's going to be okay, Marlene. Uh, and, but it does, it does bug me too. I really don't want a chimney going up through my house. And what I really don't want to do is have to cut the floor and the ceiling and the roof out to move that over. But if I don't do that, it's just not going to look right. It's not going to be right. And I'm going to be cleaning out all this crud that builds up in the chimney, even though it doesn't build up as much in an insulated chimney, you still, I still have to clean the chimney. Um, and now with it, when it is directly over the wood stove, I'll be able to just brush right down into the, and the creosote will go right into the stove. So anyway, that's my story on stovepipe and chimneys for a wood stove. And I'm so delighted that I was able to find this vintage, brand new, in the box part to fit this old chimney pipe. So that's, uh, that's the story here. That's, and, and I wanna get this done, it's June now, we don't need a wood stove till September, October, but I want to get it now. That's kind of the way I am. I don't want to wait till the last minute. So, and I want a roof. I, I want to roof this uh, addition. I got to tie it in to the old roof, the existing roof over here. So um, now's the time to get that chimney moved or very soon is the time to do that. That's my story here on this episode. Thanks for watching everybody. Hey, one more thing. As is so often the case, I got one more thing I thought of that I want to tell you about. This uh, old chimney, or the, yeah, the old chimney that went up through the overhang had a ventilated soffit underneath it. And this is the piece, or the two pieces that went around the chimney pipe, the eight inch outside diameter pipe. And I, this was a challenge to me back when I was uh, 23, I think, when we built this house. That was to get a nice tight fit around an eight inch diameter pipe. It's no problem to make an eight inch circle, but when you go through a pitched roof, the circle that you need turns into an ellipse. So, that is actually an ellipse for an eight inch diameter pipe going through a roof with a 612 pitch. And I, I figured out how to do this with an old book about carpenters uh, squares. I used a framing square to, to cut that. And it was, it was not easy figuring that out, but once I had it figured out, I knew how to do it. And I had several opportunities or occasions in my career, in my career as a remodeler and, and a contractor, to do that, to cut an ellipse for a circle going up through a pitched roof. I did it several times and um, that it, it can be done. It can be done mathematically with a framing square. There's probably YouTube videos that tell you how to do it. But, but in any event, I was very pleased with, with myself for figuring that out and I wanted to show that to you. Uh, I'm showing off, I guess you could say. But it, I was a, that was a uh, kind of a, a breakthrough to figure that out for me many years ago. Now I'm done. See you later.